As an editor, and I mean any level of editing, from feature film to everyday YouTubers, you'll be handling a mouse. So let's talk about that. So I think it's a sound investment to make sure that you have the very best tools for the job. Now in my opinion, and how I edit every day may be different than most, but from my experience, I like a seamless interaction that keeps my workflow speedy yet enjoyable. And to achieve such a wonderful experience, I've chosen the Logitech G502 Proteus Core Gaming Mouse. And here's why. We all know editing programs can be very complicated with tons of different buttons to click on. Now, if you're like me and work on an Apple computer, you may be enticed to buy the Apple Magic Mouse for whatever reason. Maybe because it's wireless, um, it's just your personal preference, or it just looks really nice on a desk. Like the fact that it costs around $80 just to point and click, and it has the nice little swipey shortcuts on the top. Now, I'm not hating on Apple or anything, but they do tend to take design aesthetic very seriously, which I completely respect and appreciate. I mean, we see all kinds of workstation setups through Apple products that look freaking amazing. But for me, I'm not too concerned on how something looks when I'm working, but really just how it performs when I'm working. And in my opinion, the Logitech G502 gaming mouse performs exceptionally well. Right out of the box, it costs $70. I got mine off Amazon. You can get yours pretty much anywhere else. And when you get this thing, you're gonna notice some really cool technical aspects. First off, you can fine tune the optical sensor to your working surface for better accuracy, precision, and responsiveness. You can control the weight and the balance of the mouse with the handy dandy weights that Logitech provides where you can insert them in the bottom of the mouse to your preference. All you have to do is pull off this magnetic door on the bottom of the mouse that flips off really, really easily, like so. It also has DPI shifting to change the speed of your cursor on the fly. So right now, when I'm editing, I click this little button on the side and it slows my cursor down for really precise movements. It has a dual mode scroll wheel that scrolls really fast, and if you click this button, scrolls through clicks, click it again, back to fast mode. But hands down, my favorite feature has to be the 11 programmable buttons, AKA macros. And with the three profiles that are built into the mouse, it's really like 33 buttons. So profile one, I have it customized to Premiere Pro. Profile two, I have it customized to After Effects. And profile three, I have it customized to Photoshop. Now when I say programmable buttons, let me explain that. Every day when I'm editing, and I'm using Premiere or Final Cut or whatever, there's a ton of keyboard shortcuts and just general shortcuts in the software. We know Command S is save, Command C is copy, and Command V is paste. Now, either you can have your hand sitting on your keyboard or just feel free to reach up and hit those shortcuts real fast for quick movements, but there's always all these extra shortcuts that you always have to look up or just commit to memory. Now, there's been plenty of situations where I've been editing for an hour and I had forgotten to save and the software crashes like it always loves to do and I lose all of that work. Now, I would love to create a habit to save or set up some kind of autosave. Now, with a mouse like this, you can program any of these buttons to do anything. For instance, I can program this button to be my cut tool, this button to be my corner tool, this button to be my hand tool, and the mouse wheel push left to be save. So while I'm working, I can flick the wheel to the side and it automatically saves my work. And I've done it so much now that it's become a habit. And with editing with this mouse, I find that my workflow is so much faster and so much smoother. The gamers have really figured this out. This mouse is made for long use, for using it 12 hours a day, because it's usually a gamer who's playing a game for a long period of time, which is totally fine. But I'm always at my computer, I'm editing all day long, and using a gaming mouse saves me a lot of time. It's enjoyable, it feels great in my hand, and it's not that expensive. And with the 11 programmable buttons, it's awesome. And if you're wondering how to program and configure this mouse, there's free software off of Logitech that you can download that works on Mac OS and Windows that you can program the mouse with. Very simple, very easy to use. 
If you're an editor and you're on the market for a really cool working experience, I suggest looking up gaming mouses. I'm not saying this is the absolute best mouse ever. It's what I like. There's a lot of other mouses out there that are a lot cheaper than this one that are just as effective. This mouse won't break the bank, but it will help you get your work done. And finally, it is a wired mouse, which doesn't bother me at all, because I never have to worry about changing batteries and no Bluetooth problems or connectivity where I've had a mouse before where it was Bluetooth wireless, worked really well, but later on in its lifespan, the Bluetooth stopped working as well and it would skip and it was really annoying. And with this mouse, it's super smooth, it glides perfectly across your desk, it just feels really good to use. I advise getting a gaming mouse for your editing experience. Otherwise guys, I'm Max, thanks for tuning in, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and feel free to leave a comment and tell me what kind of mouse you use for your editing experience. Thanks again guys, I'll catch you next time.